In ship construction, pipe assemblies are typically fabricated in the pipe shop to the extent possible prior to being installed on hull, at which time these assemblies are joined into their final configuration. Lack of accessibility during the preparation, fit-up, and welding of these assemblies can lead to extensive and costly rework and schedule delays. Under this project, the Navy Metalworking Center developed several tools to address specific shipyard concerns and improve the efficiencies of on-hull pipe assembly methods. These tools are demonstrated in the video that follows. The localized purge tool serves two primary functions. First, it isolates the joint within a piping system that is purged during welding. Second, it allows the operator to have greater confidence in the quality of the welds being made. The localized purge tool system includes three general components. The purge tool itself, which consists of a front airbag and rear purge head connected by flexible hoses, two cable assemblies that contain the purge gas supply and return lines, the electrical lines, and the bladder inflation lines, and a control box that houses the controls for establishing a purge, and a video screen that displays the images from the integrated cameras. The control box has a single connection for supplying purge gas to the system. Controls for regulating purge gas flow and pressure to the purge tool are included. The purge tool isolates the area to be purged between the front airbag and an inflatable bladder on the rear purge head. The purge gas flows from the control box and through the purge head to inflate the front airbag and the bladder on the purge head. The purge gas is diffused on the far end of the weld joint, allowing it to flow back across the weld joint and out to the exit port located on the purge head. Cameras and LED lighting are also located on the purge head to enable the operator to see a full 360 degrees inside the pipe via the video screen located at the control box. The purge return line feeds back to the control box, where the gas can either be exhausted into a dump line or monitored for oxygen level, dew point, or other process variables. In operation, the purge tool is inserted into an opening in the pipe train near the joint to be welded. The tool is pushed into position using the attached cables on the rear purge head. The integrated cameras provide visual feedback while pushing the tool into the pipe to ensure that the tool is properly located at the weld joint. Once in position, the purge gas is turned on at the control box. The front airbag and the inflatable bladder on the rear purge head of the tool inflate, isolating the purge area. Once the purge is established and welding is set to begin, the camera settings are automatically changed to weld mode using a selector switch at the control box. This mode allows the operator to view the welding operations from inside the pipe. This is especially useful for joints that utilize consumable insert rings in the weld joint, as the consumption and fusion of the ring to the base material of the pipe can be observed. Once the weld is completed, the cameras can be switched back to standard mode to review and confirm quality of the finished weld. Testing has confirmed that the purge tool can be pushed through both long and short radius elbows in piping trains of various configurations up to 60 feet in length. The tool is designed for use in 6-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch pipe. Quick connect fittings located on the purge tool and control box allow for easy disassembly of the localized purge tool system for ease of transportation and storage. The internal robotic blending tool is designed to grind the interior of a weld. This is done to remove defects revealed during X-ray inspection of the joint. The necessity for cutting out, refitting, and rewelding a joint can be avoided if the defect can be blended to an acceptable condition minimizing cost and schedule impact. The internal robotic blending system includes the robotic blending tool, which consists of a main body and front head connected by a flexible hose the master control box that houses an integrated video screen and functional controls for operation of the blending tool, a pneumatic control box that houses the pneumatic components required for tool function, the pneumatic and electrical lines along with a separate flexible drive rod for inserting the tool into the pipe, and a positioning fixture with an integrated magnet for locating the tool at the weld joint. Inflatable bladders located on the main body and front head of the blending tool are used to lock the tool into position inside the pipe and isolate the work area, keeping debris from migrating throughout the pipe. 
the 20,000 RPM grinder can efficiently grind all piping materials, including Inconel. Actuators allow for controlled movement of the grinder, both radially and axially. The integrated cameras and LED lighting allow the operator to view the front and back sides of the grind area at the control box via the large video screen. The vacuum system, located in the vicinity of the grinder, helps capture the grinding debris in an installed filter to help maintain pipe cleanliness. In operation, the blending tool is inserted into an opening in the pipe train near the joint that requires remediation. In addition to being able to push the blending tool into position using the attached drive rod, the tool also includes a crawl feature, which slowly inchworms the tool through the pipe. This feature is also used to fine-tune the tool position prior to grinding. The pointer of the fixture is placed over the center of the weld section to be ground. Once at the joint, the positioning fixture is used to locate the precise defect that is to be blended. This fixture contains a rare earth magnet that is found by a sensor that is mounted in line with the grinder of the blending tool. Features in the control box rotate the grinding head so the sensor can locate the magnet, aligning the grinder to the exact location of the area to be ground. Once the tool is correctly positioned, the bladders are inflated to lock the tool to the pipe. Operation of the grinder is controlled at the master control box where video is displayed. The operator can precisely control how far the grinding head is actuated into the pipe wall to blend the defect. The grinder can be set to reciprocate up to a maximum included angle of 45 degrees about the defect to allow efficient blending of the weld joint. Once the weld joint has been blended, work can be verified by inspection with the cameras. Testing has confirmed that the robotic blending tool can navigate through long radius elbows in piping trains of various configurations up to 15 feet in length. This tool is currently designed for use in 10-inch and 12-inch pipe. The tool has a modular design with interchangeable rings, so the main body of the tool can be used for both sizes of pipe. Quick connect fittings located on the blending tool and control boxes allow for easy disassembly of the internal robotic blending tool system for ease of transportation and storage. Grinding fixtures for small diameter pipe were designed to control grinding of the weld defect on the inner diameter of the pipe. They ensure minimal pipe wall thickness is maintained. These grinding fixtures allow the grinder to be correctly positioned and controlled during grinding inside the pipe. These grinding fixtures are manually controlled devices that can be used with a separate camera to view the grinding area. The smaller fixture is designed for use in 2-inch and 3-inch pipe, although only the 3-inch fixture is able to navigate through elbows. An inflatable bladder is used to lock the fixture to the pipe. The fixture can be pushed into an open end of the pipe up to 20 feet using the attached drive rod. The grinding head has stones mounted on the end of four pivoting arms that expand under centrifugal force. The arms are sized so that the minimum wall thickness of the pipe is maintained. The larger fixture is designed for use in 4-inch, 5-inch, 6-inch, and 8-inch pipe. Once again, an inflatable bladder is used to lock the fixture to the pipe. In this case, the flexible drive rods are also used to control the manual actuation and rotation of the grinder via gearing at the rear of the tool. Temporary hangers are used extensively in the outfitting facilities during ship construction. Currently, various attachment points are welded directly to the ship hull or the frame of the boat. When no longer required, the temporary hangers are removed, the hull repaired, inspected, and repainted. Considerable cost savings can be achieved if the labor and rework necessitated by welding temporary hangers to the ship can be avoided. The temporary hanger shown here is an enlarged beam clamp that allows the user to mount it on the interior frame of the submarine hull. The sacrificial plate is included for attachment or welding of structural components such as pipe, chain falls, pad eyes to support ship construction. The hangers can be used singly or in pairs with a channel attached to support rigging between hull frames. The hanger system is constructed of aluminum and is rated at 300 pounds. Testing has confirmed that the hangers do not slip along the frame under load.